Good day my cellmates and um, welcome to my acrylic pouring channel coming from Australia, Queensland in Australia. Um, this is take two <laughs> on uh, something that I was trying earlier, whether I'll actually post the previous one, I'm not sure because it ended a disaster. But I have a MDF board which I just previously painted on and scraped. Uh, they sell these, uh, they're 35 centimeters. They're an MDF board, and I get them. They're sold as placemats in Kmart Australia. So I'm not sure if you could probably get similar from Hardware Shop. You can get Carpenter to cut you some rounds, but they're great for pouring on. Great, these are already pre painted on one side, so no need for any preparation great to use for clocks or a wall decoration but I sort of wanted to do something a little bit Christmassy because obviously we're nearly there we're nearly there so I just wanted to do something a bit Christmassy today so um, I think we're on about the 4th of December I think so you know it's it's coming around pretty quick so I thought I'll just do a few little Christmassy things for me to have around my home for Christmas because I've actually got house full this Christmas. I uh, not only my own adult children, um, my brother's coming with his wife um, and their daughter who have three beautiful little children. So I really want to make this Christmas special because it, the children are here. Um, which normally my, my husband and I don't go overboard at Christmas at all because my husband was from a family that never celebrated Christmas um, so when I met him he just wasn't into it at all and he's still not really fussed by it all um, not for any religious reasons or anything even though it was his family at the time's reasons uh, it's not for my husband's at the moment he just doesn't he thinks you can buy presents all year round instead of putting the pressure on family for one day so that's but this year is different we I'm gonna go all out to make sure these little kiddies have a good Christmas so it's my intention just uh, as you see obviously uh, just put in plenty of just plain old white this is the Montmartre studio acrylic so I'll use a lot of it obviously because white even though you might not use a lot of white in your actual pores, you do use a lot of white to make other colours or do things with or use it as bases. So I've gone just this particular one. I'm starting off with this way, but I'm thinking I'm going to go off track. I'm using some of the Montmartre pre-made pouring paints because I've got lovely, well, that's a rose gold. Um, and I've got the gold gold, which I love. And I've got the copper. So I just want to give it a little go with these paints if it doesn't turn out again I've got other paint there ready to um, I've just got a piece of my um, soft plastic folder divider and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of the paints onto here to actually dip my balloon onto them and then onto there whereas I normally do it the other way around I do the colors and then dip my balloon into it so I thought I'll just go with a bit different, wearing the dishwashing gloves instead of um, the disposable ones. Um, just trying to uh, try them out. Uh, I've, the last pair I got six weeks out of, so that was pretty good. Actually, that could be the plan. I'm sort of just um, move that for a second. This might be the plan. I'm just goo pouring. This is the plastic uh, file divider sheet. So I was just pouring random on there. But I've just, and I was going to dip the balloon into it. But what's going on here? Obviously, I haven't opened that one. I might know that I've definitely got one of those colours open somewhere. Obviously, not. Okay. Um, but I'm thinking, oh, oh dear, let's see what I've done. It's 
all right. I'm thinking that I might actually dip this directly onto this plastic file divider, dip this directly onto the paint. I haven't done that before. So these are the Montmartre pouring paints and that was what was stopping my paint coming out. Silly Jilly. So that was the rose gold. This is uh, the copper. Probably got the same thing happening with that. I've probably got the end in it. Yeah, I have, haven't I? Yeah. Okay. Get with the plan. Get with the plan. I'm not going to go too far out because... I want well I've got I've got the white all on there on the actual um, MDF board so let's see how we go Joe let's see if, oh okay whatever it'll look beautiful I'm pretty sure you have to be positive don't you, you certainly have to be positive so they're kind of like the golden well, I could throw some silver in there couldn't I Real Christmassy. Yeah, throw some silver. Throw some silver. Sparkly. They're all um, metallics, these particular ones, so except for the black. So they'll be nice. And I'm going to put the lid back on that. Because these Montmartre pouring paints, this is what they're supposed to do. It's no fuss. You don't have to make anything up. You don't have to add anything to them. This is what it's all about, that, that you can pour directly from the bottles. I do like putting this into cups and mixing it a bit, and then if I do need to alter the consistency, I can do so. I've just got a little bit of the gold left over from a previous pour. This was just gold, the um, Dimensions Gold in Montmartre with a bit of Floetrol, so I'm just gonna, you know, do the random thing through here probably think I'm going completely crackers crackers oh. there we go looks a right old mess again doesn't it but having faith that this is going to turn out just put in a bit more black in there having faith that this is going to turn out well it's the white gone i will get my no i was going to do it the opposite way around wasn't i, I was going to put the plastic on top of my should i or shouldn't i oh this is risky should i just tip that on top of there or should i put the plastic decisions decisions Oh, I've got to do it quick. It's, it's, oh. <laughs> okay. So as you can see, I just did a quick flip, a flip and dip. It's, if it's a right old mess, I will scrape it. I'm sure it will be good for something else. might move this a little bit round this oh I like that already all good all good maybe a little bit of color in there would have been good but this still looks okay I'm gonna do a quick flick quick flick oh oh tell you what looks pretty the colours on there, look at that. Oh my god, doesn't that look nice? It looked good there too. Just wondering if I've got a little canvas here. I've got a little canvas sitting here that I scraped. So here goes nothing. So how many artworks am I gonna get if this works out? One, two, three. Because the plastic could dry and you could either stick it onto something or you can use it for skins 
So if the plan goes, no, it wasn't a plan, was it? It was a fly by the seat of my pants moment. Okay. I'm loving those colours though. They are pretty, pretty. Very um, metallic-y, Christmassy. Okay, let's see. So this is good having it where you can use these push pins to pick it back up. Just move my nice, oh, that is so nice. Look at that. Oh, I've got to do a whole canvas like that. That is brill. That is really brill. Brill, brill, brill. I'm just hoping that I haven't got a right old mess under there. Oh, look at that. It's got some bits where it's got nothing, but that is absolutely no problem because you can pick up a bit of the paint runoff or even where it's blobby, thick. Oh, where did I see? And finger pop it. Or better still, better still, trusty old water balloon. Let's get it. Okay, this is really coming to the end of its life. This little balloon is filled with water. So I could push the balloon in. Oh, oh my goodness. I've got like all the three works of art going at one time here. How good is this? Oh, oh my goodness. I wish I could say I planned it and I thought all about what I was going to do, but I certainly didn't because you were with me all the way and I can't say that I did. But oh my gosh, that's really lovely. It's really lovely. Even the edges, I just press the balloon in round the edges to, or, or just do the edges in black or whatever. But look at that. Three works of art in one crazy, demented, all over the place process. Oh, wow. I really like that and that would look so nice on a nice big canvas and obviously just some little cells are coming through I don't want to torch it because I don't want it to be over celly so look at this I need to work on this to get this up even better and I think that a few this is just the ordinary balloon put that one out the way for one second so I can wipe my balloon. Ooh, oh look at that. Again I could be putting that in to something to create something else. So how many works can you get out of one pour? It's pretty amazing. Oh my goodness. Well some uh, times they're really happy accidents. Um, other times they're not but I am absolutely loving this loving 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 to get those three different pieces of art out of one process I've got to move that out of the way um, so I can do something oh yeah look at that oh I am so Sorry, I get so excited because that is just gorgeous. Really lovely. Really lovely. I think like I think if I left that to dry a little bit more and then did some balloon work where the balloons will come out more defined, looking like some pretty thing in there. Now trying to Oh Yeah, the birds are even squawking out there that must like it I reckon that is fan fabulous I like it I really like it so I'll show you the three now oh my god I love art this is what it's all about guys this is what abstract art is all about and this particular process, the acrylic fluid art, is like, you really, you know, you never know what you're going to get. 
it is a surprise and a wonderment every time look looky 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 oh my goodness that is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous I'm so happy with that I will allow it to dry off a bit and work the balloon on it a little bit more my um, plastic file divider I'm going to just leave that to peel off but obviously that would look so nice with a negative space all around the can on a nice big canvas but look how lovely those colors are the cells just coming up as like frills that's gorgeous so that's another stunner and then this little beauty that I handy little canvas I had there to dip in that is gorgeous too that is very pretty very classy looking colors I'm happy I'm happy thank you so much for joining me guys thank you so much for subscribing if you haven't subscribed could you please subscribe it helps me and it's free to you I don't seek donations or anything else but if you are happy to subscribe to my channel but more so to watch my channel that would be terrific um, until next time next exciting episode of more um, experiments that I do for you well, for myself but with you guys along for the journey thank you again until next time have a good one. Bye.